post covid there is an incredible shift in the way people watch movies and tv shows we call it the new normal people no longer wants to go to theaters unless there is you know a wishfully dramatically a good movie being released most of the time we end up waiting for it to get released in ott just binge watch right from the comfort of our couch saves time money and the hassle of commute back and forth to theaters Yes, it's the new normal. People hunt to upgrade their own data because of this and there's plenty of options in the market. This video is just to give out information to help with your purchases. Welcome to my channel, Vicky's Online, and this is review of Samsung Q990. When I bought the system, came with an environment friendly box which had the required manuals for setup warranty information and the speaker itself upon setting the speaker to power and connected to tv i had to install samsung smart things app on my phone to set up the speaker to start with the design the system comes with a friend sound bar which has 11 channels a wireless subwoofer a wireless rear speaker which has two up firing channels to create that immersive dolby atmos effects in other words Everybody needs that helicopter sound top of our head, isn't it? Yeah, the friend sound bar is made up of a metal mesh grill which houses all the eleven channels responsible for the center stage, the wide stage, and the friend portion of two up-firing Dolby Atmos speakers. The Samsung is replacing the covering with a more robust metal mesh grill. It's attractive, easier to keep clean, and less likely to be scratched by, you know, cats. Here's a choice of stand or wall mounting and if you decide on the later Samsung includes a dedicated brackets for this purpose. The next we have a matte black wireless subwoofer which consumes 32 watts of power and gives that big rumbling sound we expect in the high end home theater setups. And the good part is it's wireless and connects automatically to the overall setup. Finally, we come to the rear speakers which are also wireless and house total of four speakers. two for the rear channels and two up firing which bounces sound off the ceiling for the Dolby Atmos effects overall the build quality seems premium in all aspects it comes with required remote control and necessary wall mount brackets wall mount the sound bar if you like the next chapter of this review is the features of the sound bar here are some important ones which helps with your purchase decision making the first one is q symphony Most of the Samsung TVs nowadays comes with Q Symphony feature which basically adds the TV speaker as well into your overall channels of the home theater which means you get additional speakers included in the mix of your home theater. Then comes the wireless Dolby Atmos. This is the first system to support a wireless Dolby Atmos which means you don't have to run an HDMI ERC cable from your sound bar to TV. It's all wireless. The next feature is AirPlay. All Apple devices can easily connect to the sound bar using iPhone, iPad, Macs, etc. There is also an option for Spotify Connect. You can have your own music and your favorite music play through Spotify. Nowadays, it's a trend to have smart assistant in your sound bar and there comes Alexa. It supports Alexa and not Google, but yeah, it can play music, control your smart home devices and what not. You can ask anything to a smart assistant. Tap Sound is basically an NFC feature that, you know, transfers your music from your phone to the sound bar. Simply with the touch of a button, you have your Tap Sound enabled. One of the important issues with the home theater is this massive sound effect sometimes dims the vocals of the movie and you actually miss out on the key dialogues. This voice amplifier feature is always in right proportion and helps with the overall dialogue delivery of the movie. The next is Space Fit Sound. This is an audio simulation run by the system to determine the room automatically and adjust the sound based on your environment. I guess everybody are afraid of the word machine learning by now, but yeah, you can say the Space Fit Sound is in turn adopting some of those ML capabilities. Sound modes, you have a game mode, surround mode, adaptive sound, there is high res decoding and etc. You can choose from the variety of sound modes based on your preference and yes, there is an auto EQ feature as well which as an average user might not even need more than this. The Samsung Q990B home theater system offers an exceptional sound quality that truly enhances your audio visual experience. With this advanced technology and high quality components, the system delivers immersive and crystal clear sound across all frequencies. 
The Q990B system boasts a powerful and well-balanced audio output, allowing you to enjoy a rich bass, detailed mid-range and clear treble. Whether you're watching movies, listening to music, playing games, the sound reproduction is accurate and precise, creating a lifelike audio environment. Equipped with multiple speakers including front, center, surround and subwoofer units, the Q990B ensures a well-distinguished soundstage. The setup enables sound to come from different directions, enveloping you in a three-dimensional audio experience. You feel like you're right in the middle of action, enhancing this immersion and the enjoyment of your media. Though I don't see big negatives, but there are some which could have been a good to have features, you know, like a Chromecast support, a Google Assistant support, a Solar Emote, which is kind of becoming a standard in all Samsung TVs by now. But other than that, it's a well-built futuristic system. Okay, Vicky, stop. What's the price? Yes, the product was launched for $1,600 in US or £1,600 in UK in 2022. But we can get our hands on in this for £800 in Amazon UK and even less in some other sites. And it's an incredible value for the package you get. There is a recent version Q990C being released in 2023. But comparing Q990B with Q990C, the design, the number of channels you get, the features, everything is exactly the same. Yes, obviously it's 2023 and there are minor you know, deviations to the features. Q990B doesn't support Chromecast or IQ formats. But tell me in comments, would you shed an extra 700 to 800 pounds just to get these Chromecast and IQ features? I mean, we can literally get a Chromecast for 30 bucks and put it in one of the HDMI slots, isn't it? Feel free to comment. Coming to the end of the review, Overall, what I feel about the system, I mean the design, build quality, sound stage, the features you get for £800 is a great deal in my opinion. Comparing to other models in the market like Sonos Arc, Sony e which all empties your wallet beyond £1,500. This was awarded the best in class by AV Forums and Editor's Choice by TechRadar. And, and personally using the system for about the month now, after watching several Netflix shows, I see the reason for those awards. But end of the day, it's your valuable money and these reviews are put out to help you decide best on how you spend your money. Let me know in the comments what you think about the system and my review. Full disclaimer, this is my first review and my first video on YouTube. So your comments will go a long way in improving my career venture. My next video is about how I earned up to £1,500 in less than 10 minutes of work, literally with no skills or experience and I'm going to teach you how you could do as well. That extra money could even be used to buy this home theater. So subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next video. Until then, enjoy your summer.